Hi everyone and welcome at the Toxandria homestead. Living in a small city with neighbors on each side of us, we have to make sure that collecting manure and composting kitchen and garden waste does not create a dirty smell. We have nice neighbors and we want to keep it that way. Therefore, composting for us is something we have to do in plastic composting bins. We work with two separate plastic bins. The first one we fill up with compostable waste material and the second we use for the last step to create the compost itself. Today we're gonna empty the first one as much as possible because we're gonna have plenty of garden waste in the next few weeks. Before we empty the first bin, we mix all that is in the second bin to give it new oxygen before we put the stuff from the first bin on top of it. Now we open the first bin and begin to scrape the composting material from below. The more we scrape from the bottom, the more that should come down from above, but that is just how it should work in normal situations. As Murphy's Law is always an issue on a homestead, in our bin the composting material will not come down. When we remove the bin completely from the compost, you can see the layers that we created with the green material as weeds that our chickens won't eat and with ivy that grows everywhere around here. The wood from the ivy we clip and we separate it in another box as this would take too much time to compost. The next layer exists of brown material such as coffee filters, shavings with chicken manure that we collect when cleaning the kitchen brooders. Dog poo from our dogs and eggshells and an egg now and then will go in it together with the brown material. In this bucket we also have charcoal to reduce the smell. We work with layers that are quite thin. When a green layer is just covered with a brown layer we go back to a new green layer, just keeping each layer as low as possible. Before I used shavings that I collected from my own woodworking machinery, but as I ran out of those, I used shavings from elsewhere. These shavings are larger and will take more time to break down and compost. If we transfer the composting material from the first bin, we see the fume of the heat coming from the, the inside of the compost. In the second bin we start to mix the composting material. In the first bin we can now start creating new layers again. This time we have flowers that go in. These flowers were growing so massively in the garden that they started to choke other plants. So we had to start cutting them back and give the other plants the sunshine they need to develop themselves. In the second bin, after we filled it up with the stuff from the first bin, you can see small bugs that are chasing microorganisms that are breaking down the composting material. Like I said, in a few weeks we will have so much garden waste that we need to compost that I have plans to build things to grow crops in. We will keep you updated over the things that we make ourselves and probably will make more videos on that as well. 
For now, I hope you have enjoyed this video and if so, you can give a thumbs up. For more videos of our future plans, you can subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and talk to you again in the next video.